by me. He stood by me long enough, so I just ran some records. I gave him the mic. But when he grabbed the mic, he squatted down all the way down so nobody <laughs> could see him, right? But it didn't it didn't hit with nobody. Because they just jamming. Yeah. So um when they was rocking, I pulled them up. They're like, oh man, that's slim. <laughs> that's slim. <laughs> So he started, you know, because he always was doing like little, he was, he was young getting in uh, venues that, you know, that he wasn't supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I was DJing in the Magnolia Project, right? Okay. And I'm gonna tell you how it started. And um, he wanted to get on the mic. So I was on a, the, the second balcony tier, and um, he stood by me. He stood by me long enough, so I just ran some records. I gave him the mic, but when he grabbed the mic, he squatted down all the way down so nobody <laughs> could see him. Right, but it didn't it didn't hit with nobody because they just jamming. Yeah. So um, when they was rocking. I pulled them up. They're like, oh man, that's slim. <laughs> that's slim. So he started, you know, because he always was doing like little, he was, he was young getting in uh, venues that, you know, that he wasn't supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. Wow. But by him being like that in the streets, as far as being like with the music thing, he was in the, he was in the streets both ways. But when he, when he started popping young, they they didn't care about that because you know like when you when you when, when you got these holes in the walls you know what I'm saying yeah like streamline detour full nines Newtons these was like our little hole in the wall spots yeah you know what I'm saying and uh, big man's to where like it's a bar it's like it's a bar but at night they turn it into a club wow so was he like when you think about him because I've heard many people compare him to Tupac. I've heard them comparison. Right, right. And I think it was because of his, just his artistry or just the right. way his, the way his feel was. It was more like this here. And I'm, I'm going to finish this in notes. So after he came and we did that uh, when I was in the project and he came, I told him, um, cause he's going to lead up to the Tupac stuff. So I told him, um, back, back, back. So when Slim is when he came, when Slim came, you know, he did his thing. He came in there when I was DJing. He grabbed the mic and um, he did his thing. And after that, he squatted down and I pulled him up in the crowd. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's slim. slim. No, no, no. That's slim. So after that, I was like, look, this is what we gonna do. And how old was he at that time? He had to be about 13, 14. <sighs> He did his. <laughs> he really not, wasn't supposed to be there at that right. age. That's, that's what I was saying. Like in these these bars, like he, he was right, to he be was in going there. in though. Right, right, right. So um, I pulled them all. I said, "Look, come by me, and um, we gonna start making real records." Wow. So this would led up to the two two boxes. Yeah. So we got that understood. So when we started working, well, when I started, you know, because I was always working, so he used to come in and do these songs, right? But it was always shit that he just got into in the street. <laughs> it was real. Yeah. That's the Tupac part right there. That's the Tupac <laughs> part. So when it's real, it's real. Right, so when we up in there... Um, He'll come up there. He motherfucker playing with me. Fuck it, beat. Fuck all that. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I, got, I, I got, I got to get this out, man. They're they playing with me. He loved to put it out in the, so they'll know what's going on, and it didn't matter who. I can just imagine. And this way it comes. This way it comes into the part to where when I say that um, if you had a problem with him, you had a problem with the city. You had a problem with the city. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.